So, you want to create a splat effect in GIMP? Well, you've come to the right place. Grab your paintbrush and let's get this thing cracking. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai. I'm Kai and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make a splat-like effect in GIMP. We're going to go ahead and get started. We have this picture of this knight here and basically I'm going to leave a link to some splat brushes that I really, really like in the description below. So make sure you check that out. Um, we're going to go ahead and use these today. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, brush section over here and change our brush to one of these splat brushes that we have here now you can see uh if i were to change this like a white color you can see that it's it has like a nice little splat um texture to it so it's really cool really cool really cool nice now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and hit new down here and create a new layer grab this little button right there hit okay now we're gonna have this above uh, sorry below the uh night layer below the night or whatever your subject is then it'd be a night of course um below that layer and what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and make our brush size a little bit smaller just a little tiny bit I'm going to scroll in by holding down holding down control and, and uh, moving my middle mouse button, the uh, scroll wheel, and scrolling in and out. We'll go ahead and hold down control, and we'll uh, it'll turn our cursor into a little uh, eyedrop tool. Now we'll go ahead and grab a color that we want to use, and I'll grab this little red color here and click that. And then I'll release control, and then we can just uh, click once. And you can see that it will create a little... Uh, a little splat of that color because that is what that's the color that we have now so if we can do this in multiple different areas go ahead and hold down control here grab this little gray piece boom splat right there looking cool i might go ahead and change up this a little bit change up the uh the angle a little bit you know what i mean might even switch to a different brush actually so go ahead and use this one um we'll go ahead and maybe angle this one a little bit change the size right here hold down control grab that piece put put some splats right there right here grab that grab that piece Boom, some splats right there. Um, switch out the brush maybe once more. Um, this one right here. Go ahead and over here actually we'll grab this brown color. Boom, some splats right there. Actually, wait, no, do it different. I want to do that differently. Uh, uh, like that. No, that's too dark. Like that. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now let's we'll switch to a different brush again. You can see where this is going. You can just go ahead and put some splats down all over the place. I'm going to get a couple on that sword there. That was pretty cool. Um, now we'll go back to the first brush because I like that one a lot. Um, we'll go ahead and grab this piece. Hold down control. Boom. Some splats there. And then finally, I think I want to do maybe a big old splat um, on, on both sides uh, of, of him somewhere. So maybe up here, we we'll do like this there. No, no, no. Not too big, too big, too big. Nah, that doesn't really fit, I don't think. Oh, that's good. There we go. I want to do one more maybe down here, actually. I think we might... That might be good. I don't really want the colors to overlap too much, so... Trying to, uh... Keep that in mind. There we go. That looks really cool. So that's a super simple effect, as you can see. Um, I think it looks really, really cool, and it's so super easy to do. And I mean, without it, it just looks like that, which looks, you know, not as cool. <laughs> so that's basically it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, make sure to let me know down below. As always, I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.